Hi all, uh, in this video I am going to teach you types of adjectives uh, with examples, okay. So what is an adjective? As we already know, adjective is one of the eight parts of speeches. So what are those eight parts of speeches? Noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, adjective, preposition, conjunction and interjection. Okay, what is the uh, work of this adjective in a sentence? Adjectives are words, nothing but it describes, modifies, tells and qualifies about. And now, as I already told you, now will not always come in the uh, beginning of the sentence. It may come in the middle and it may come in the end of the sentence also. Okay, let's see what is adjective. Right, so let's start with an example. See the first example. There is a palace at the end of the street. And let's go for the second the statement. There is a massive palace at the end of this nasty street. Right. So what is the difference between the first statement and the second statement? There is a palace at the end of the street. This statement is a normal, raw, informative statement. But the second statement gives little description about the nouns. See. There is a massive palace here. The palace is the noun and this massive describes, tells about the palace, how it is. So this massive describes the palace. So the massive is the adjective at the end of this nasty street. So how the street is very nasty, right? Okay. It tells the nasty is the noun. The, sorry, the street is the noun. The word nasty tell about the uh, street. So nasty is the adjective, right? So, an adjective is a word that describes and tells, modifies, qualifies about a noun or a pronoun in the same statement, right? So, how it modifies? What and all an adjective can tell about a noun? See, adjective may tell us the color, blue, green, green color car, yellow color house. It can tell about the color of a noun, size. It can tell about the size of, the, of a noun. It is a huge building. Right? Okay, shape. It is in a rectangular, triangular, the bag is rectangular, the box is square in shape, anything. And taste. The dish is so sweet. The chocolate is so bitter. Order. It tells about the smell. It smells very bad. Texture. How it is so soft, so hard, so thick. Sound. Very noisy. Number, first, second, five in number, I have six chocolates, I have two uh, bags, like that. Weather, the climate is very chill, it is so hot, such things. Right, and time, it early in the morning, six o'clock, the sun rise six o'clock in the morning, okay. Uh, amount, it is telling about the quantity of a noun, right. Personality. Calm, quiet, beautiful, handsome, attitudinal, touch, so soft, appearance, uh, majestic, very quiet, situation, very good, very critical, hypothetical. So such words are adjectives. So adjective can tell all these things about you now. Okay. So we can find adjective in a statement through certain suffixes and prefixes. See here, uh, credible, achievable, gullible, capable. So words end with able and able. Next to one is L, annual, functional, individual, logical, essential, full, awful, cheerful, doubtful, faithful, forceful, ick, terrific, cubic, manic, rustic, intensive, adaptive, Attractive, dismissive, inventive, persuasive, etc. Less, doubtless, endless, fearless, hopeless, helpless, as adventurous, famous, generous, courageous, dangerous, tremendous, fabulous. So we can find adjective in a statement through these suffixes also. If a word contains these suffixes, obviously that is an adjective which is qualifying another noun in the same statement. Okay, let's go for the types of adjectives. What are the types of adjectives? And these types of adjectives are 
uh, classified on the basis of its function right how it qualifies how it modifies in what way an adjective is modifying a noun on that basis we are uh, classifying these types okay there are eight types of adjectives first type is descriptive or qualitative or uh, attributive adjective so uh, by seeing it itself you can judge so what may be the first type it tells about the description it describe a noun it tells about the quality of a noun right okay quantitative adjective so how much the quantity the noun in the statement is definite or indefinite i'll explain it further and demonstrative adjective distributive adjective interrogative adjective possessive adjective proper adjective articles as adjectives right let's go for the first uh, type descriptive adjective descriptive or qualitative adjectives this adjectives shows the kind and quality of a person or a thing it is also called adjective of quality it qualifies it tells about the quality it describes about the quality of a noun in the statement see that the small puppy was found yesterday a puppy was there and how is the puppy it describes the puppy the size of the puppy i already told you adjectives may tell about the size right okay it tells and describes the size of the puppy the puppy is so small so the puppy was found the small puppy was found yesterday you look smart in blue shirt description again right okay so small the smart is tell about describes and qualifies the noun the small is an adjective of the puppy and here the smart is an adjective of the pronoun you i already told you adjective can qualify and modify the pronoun in the statement also okay so we can uh, again classify this descriptive adjective as two first one is attributive adjective and predicative adjective nothing but attributive adjective placed before the noun right for example she is a pretty girl here the pretty is the adjective of the noun girl this is my green dress the green is an adjective of the dress today we will have heavy rain the heavy is a description of the rain right so all this pretty green and heavy comes before the noun girl dress rain respectively okay so what is this predicative adjective this predicative adjective usually comes after the noun this sandwich is tasty so that tasty goes for this the noun this the boy is tall the tall is an adjective of the boy description of the boy noun which is coming before the tall my cat's eyes are yellow so here the yellow is the adjective of its previous word cat's eyes right so predicative adjectives are adjective which comes after the noun it modifies right okay so descriptive adjective is nothing but it tells about the quality and description of the noun in the statement and we can divide this descriptive adjective into two attributive and predicative attributive adjectives comes before the noun predicative adjective comes after the noun it is modifying okay let's go for the next type quantitative adjectives so what are those quantitative adjectives it tells about the quantity of the noun in the uh, sentence maybe it is number or uncountable also okay let's see adjective or adjectives of numbers it can be called as adjectives of numbers okay this type of adjective describes or gives the quantity count of a noun it provides the information regarding how many and how much the noun is okay again we are uh, dividing this uh, quantitative adjective as two definite adjectives and indefinite adjectives i already told you it gives the answer for how many and how much so definite adjectives so shows the exact number so how many countable most of the time how many it gives the answer for how many indefinite adjectives how much uncountable so it gives the answers how much so what are those definite adjectives definite adjectives can come in three ways cardinal ordinal and multiplicatives so uh, i already told you it gives an exact number 1 2 3 4 like that and ordinal nothing but first second third fourth multiplicatives single double triple quadruple 
so such things are exact in number we are defining such uh, such adjectives as definite adjectives see the example i have a single candy view okay single candy it tells about the exact number how much he is having and i did five variations of workouts again the five it is an exact number countable right okay definite adjectives do not show an exact number it answers the question how much for example all some enough none many few several or also amount count but we cannot count in numbers we cannot get exact numbers right okay see the example 3 half of our class has scored more good marks so half of the class not exact number was given i have enough money to spend how much how much money it was enough money but not exact number was shown so on this basis we divide this quantitative adjective as two definite adjective and indefinite adjective so finally what is quantitative adjective it tells about the number count about count of a noun in the statement right okay how much how many so uh, it tells about how much the noun is how many the noun is okay so on this how much and how many basis we have divided this definite adjective and indefinite adjective if the adjective gives an exact number of a noun we classified this under definite adjective and we are not getting any exact number but some quantity some amount in the sense uh, we are defined this under indefinite adjectives okay let's go for the third type of adjective demonstrative adjective so what is this demonstration specification right okay this adjective is used to point out to specify which person or thing you are meaning there you meant there right there are four demonstrative adjectives only four demonstrative adjectives in uh, uh, english grammar so what are those this these that those usually we use these words to specify something right so these are demonstrative adjectives for example this school is infinitely better than that last one i went so which school this school so this here is demonstrating some school so demonstrative adjective i think that book is mine that book which book that book again we are demonstrating something particularly so that these plants are useful for brightening up shady areas these again which plants these plants we are particularizing some plants there let me give you a hand with those bags so which bags those bags again we are meaning particularly specifying something there so demonstrative adjective keep that in mind only four demonstrative adjectives are in english grammar this these that those let's go for the fourth distributive adjective so what are these distributive adjectives these types of adjectives are used to point out or specify a particular type of objects or member among more than one nouns there may be more than one noun among that you are specifying something particularly only one thing particularly so this comes under distributive adjective there are only four distributive adjectives in english grammar so each every either neither we are using this each every either neither in a group right you are you are showing a group and you are specifying a uh, individual thing you are specifying something particularly in the sense that time we are using this each every either neither so those adjectives comes under distributive adjectives so example every student in the class in the whole class each and every student is a topper again in the class you are specifying everyone each and every one individually so every here is the distributive adjective you can need to collect each and every coin in the game john must paint on either side of the sheet so here more than one nouns will be mentioned there in that you are specifying only one individually in the sense it comes under distributive adjective let's go for the fifth type of adjective interrogative adjective okay so these types of adjectives are used to ask question interrogation as uh, interrogation is nothing but asking question okay the answer must be a noun or pronoun or an adjective so those interrogative questions if you answer for those in the sense the answer will be must be a noun or a pronoun or a uh, adjective again okay question words such as what whose which etc are used as interrogative adjectives see what type of dress do you want obviously 
the answer must be uh, a type a type may come under an adjective a dress type an adjective the answer is whose book is this my book your book a noun may be the answer which song shall i play on the speaker again it is telling about a type of the song which comes under an adjective also so uh, adjectives interrogative adjectives are words we are using to raise questions and answers for those questions is also uh, another adjective may be another noun and then pronoun okay let's go for the sixth type of an adjective possessive adjective so possession is nothing but owning something you are showing a thing and now and you are owning you are claiming a possession in the sense at the time you are using to show the possession that uh, uh, adjective is possessive adjective these adjective describes where and whom does the object belongs to these adjectives are used to show up ownership and possession they show the literal pronoun these uh, uh, possessive adjectives looks like exactly like pronouns but acts as adjectives words such as my mine our your his her its their etc are used as possessive adjectives whose book is that that's mine so the book is mine the mine is an adjective of the book the book whose a book belongs to book is mine uh, where's my wallet again my wallet it is claiming the possession of the uh, noun wallet take care of your belongings whose belongings your belongings so all this mine my and your tells about the ownership of the respective noun so these words comes under possessive adjective okay let's go for the seventh type proper adjective these adjectives are derived from proper nouns uh, as we all already know nouns or nothing but naming words and proper nouns or nothing but a specific name about a product or a thing or a person so all these specific names are here claim as adjective why because it tells about the uh, the following noun right for example see the english language the language is also a noun but this language english is particularizing the uh, language the next noun right so it is a proper noun it is uh, telling about a specific uh, name of a language right but even though this here modifies the next noun language english this english modifies the next noun language so this english here is considered as proper adjective the indian ocean so what type of ocean what ocean is this indian ocean it is a proper noun it is a name of a particular ocean even though this here is considered as proper adjective the victorian attitude proper adjective okay let's go for the last adjective articles as adjectives so sometimes articles also we can claim as adjectives why because it tells about it modifies about here yeah, noun again articles are also types of adjectives because they clearly specify the nouns which are particular or general one okay so this we are using this articles as adjectives to uh, to to show to claim whether the noun is particularizing or a general one as we already know about articles yeah and yeah is a general one and and the we are using to uh, show a particular one definite one right so see here yeah and the are the articles yeah we are using for a general noun and and the we are using for a specific particular noun so these is these words are uh, these letters and uh, uh, the a and and the also we are using to specify tell something about the noun right so we are considering these articles also as adjectives so the pencils are broken we are specifying some pencils right so the pencils are broken an escalator was very long you must consult your psychologist so here the uh, the and here all these articles are tell something about whether the noun is general or particularized so all these things that and here and there are telling about the uh, adjective so so telling about the noun so we are uh, considering this articles as adjectives okay so these are the eight types of adjectives so uh, go through it if you have any doubt kindly let me know and i'll clarify it thank you